Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meer Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problem sum based on put option where we have been given bias payoff under the subject commodity and derivative market. It is a must for all the TYBMS students. Now before solving the sum, there are some rules that we need to cover up. So let us see few rules based on uh, put option that we need to cover up in order to solve it. Okay, now the format states that we have the exercise price, spot price, intrinsic value, call premium and profit and loss. The exercise and spot price will be given in the question. We need to first find the intrinsic value. Now the intrinsic value up to the point where your strike and your exercise price will be equal. The before part, it will be all the positive difference between the exercise and spot price. And thereafter the intrinsic value will become zero. So the point where your strike and exercise are equal before that all the intrinsic value will be positive difference and thereafter it will become zero for premium since we are buying a put okay the premium will be negative and lastly the profit and loss is nothing but the difference between the intrinsic value and the premium now based on this rule let us see how to solve the sum taking two examples okay now let us see the first sum how to solve based on put option when we have a buyer's payoff so we'll read the question once is given that max buys a put option so he have bought here a put option of reliance limited at an exercise price of rupees 100 with a premium of rupees 3 calculate the profit or loss on the option position for max if the spot price on expiry is as follows and then they are given us various expiries prices also draw the payoff diagram for the same so now let us see how we start first the tabular way and then the graphical way so we'll give the heading as we'll give the heading as put option where this is based on buyers payoff okay now we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 different spot prices now for all the different spot prices the exercise price will remain the same so we will uh, in 10 places we will write the same exercise price so that's first second third fourth fifth six seventh eighth ninth and tenth now we note down all the spot prices from 96 to 105 so 96 97 98 99 101 102 103 104 and 105 now always remember under put option put is something where you are expecting that the price of the share will be falling so if it falls you are in a profit position okay now always remember the intrinsic value under put option whether it is a buyer's payoff or a seller's payoff the rule is you know under put option the price or the intrinsic value up to the point where your exercise and spot price are same okay before that when there's a bias payoff before that there will always be a positive difference so 196 the difference is 4 then we have a positive difference of 3 2 1 and 0 after that once you get the value as zero after that whatever value will be given you know whatever values are available all the values or all the intrinsic values will be zero so we have zero 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 now this is a sum where we are buying so the moment you buy the premium the uh, you know the premium will be paid since you are going to pay for it, the premium will be negative. So it is 3. So we will have premium of negative 3 in all our cases. Since we are buying it. So we will note down minus 3 in all the columns. Okay, now lastly, the profit or loss. Profit or loss is nothing but the difference between the intrinsic value and the call premium you receive. When the value is 4, you are still paying it 3. So there is a profit of 1 rupee. When the intrinsic value is 3 and call premium is also 3, your profit is 0. 
2 negative 3 is negative 1 2 uh, you know 1 minus 3 is negative 2 and thereafter 0 minus 3 see you can see all the values are same 0 minus 3 so for all you will be having a loss of negative 3 so this is how you have to solve the sum when we have been given put option bias payoff like very simple and now we will use the same data we will use the data and present it in a graphical way so you know our y axis is nothing but our intrinsic value and the profit and loss we will start off with zero uh, positive since the profits are, uh, are in the range of one two three so we'll rotate as we'll take the gap of one for each of them similarly we'll have losses so negative one negative two negative three negative four negative five on x-axis we always note down our spot prices so it's starting from 96 we have 97 98 99 100, 101, 102, 103, 104 and 105. Now let us see how we are going to plot. Now we need to plot here the intrinsic value and the profit and loss. So we will start off with the intrinsic value. When the spot price was 96, the intrinsic value was 4. At 97, it became 3. At 98, it became 2. At 99, it became 1. Then it became 0. And thereafter, it was flat line. It was flat 0. So for, 90, for 101, 102, 103, 104 and 105, the values were 0. Now, in the similar case, now let us start plotting the profit and loss. At spot price 96, the profit was rupees 1. So, we'll note it at 96, my profit was 1 rupee. Then it became 0. Then we started going in negative quadrant. So, negative 1. Then we had a loss of negative 2. Negative 3. Then we had negative 4. But now see, after negative 3, we had a call again a straight line with all the values being negative 3. So at 101, it was negative 3. 102, negative 3. 103, negative 3. 104, negative 3. And 105, also it was negative 3. So once you join the line, you will be getting again, we'll have a downward slope and thereafter it gets flattened up. So we again had a downward slope and thereafter it got flattened. This is how your payoff table will look when we are solving some based on put option where we have the bias payoff. So this was a IV curve and this was a profit and loss. So this was the first sum based on put option where we had bias payoff. Okay. Now we'll take up another sum to understand the same topic based on the put option bias payoff okay now this is the second sum we'll read the question once Riddhi buys a put option again we are buying a put option of ABC limited she pays an option premium of rupees 20 so option premium is 20 rupees the exercise price being rupees 500 calculate the profit and loss if the spot price on the maturity are as follows and they are giving you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 spot prices on the expiry day. Also draw the payoff diagram for the same. Again, our table remains the same. We have the exercise price, spot price, intrinsic value, call premium and profit and loss. Under exercise price, we have noted down the values that is 500 and under spot price, we have taken various spot prices which were given to us. Now the rule is the point up to where the exercise and intrinsic value or the spot price are same. Okay, the price, the, the position where the exercise price and the spot price are equal, the intrinsic value will be zero. Before that, all the values will be a positive difference. So 500 and 570, uh, 470, so the difference is 
पॉजिटिव थर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड एंड फोर एटी में दट पॉजिटिव डिफरेंस इज ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड एंड फोर नाइनटी द डिफरेंस इज टेन ओके आफ्टर द पॉइंट वे द एक्सरसाइज एंड स्पॉट प्राइज इक्वल द इंटेंसिक वैल्यू विल बिकम जीरो बिकॉज अंडर स्पॉट प्राइज अंडर पुट ऑप्शन ओके इफ इट फॉल्स only then you are going to get you know if your spot price falls or goes below the excess why only then you are going to make some profit otherwise no call premium now you are buying since you are buying the premium will always be negative since it is 20 so in all our cases we'll note it down as negative 20 okay negative 20 Okay, now the profit and loss nothing but the difference between the intrinsic value and the call premium so 30 negative 20 is 10 Twenty twenty is zero. Twenty negative ten, uh, you know, negative twenty and ten is negative ten. Zero negative twenty is negative twenty, and after that, all the values will be given as negative twenty. Okay, so this is how we had to solve the put option bias payoff in tabular way. Now the same thing we'll post it on our graphical way. So we have here our intrinsic value on the y-axis and the profit and loss. Now, since the profit ka gap is in ten, so we'll note it all the ten values. So we have ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, and similarly bottom ten, negative twenty, negative thirty, negative forty. The spot values are given as on the x-axis as four seventy, four eighty, four ninety, five hundred, five hundred and ten, five hundred and twenty, five hundred and thirty. Now let us start plotting first the intrinsic value. When the spot price was four seventy, the intrinsic value was thirty. When it was four eighty, the intrinsic value became twenty. Four ninety, it was ten. At five hundred, it became zero, and since then till the last, it will remain zero. Similarly, profit and loss at Four seventy, the profit was ten. Then it became zero. Then it became negative ten, negative twenty at five hundred, and since then it would be a straight flat line at negative twenty. And the same thing now we just have to you know join it, and we will get our IV curve and our profit and loss curve. so it will again be a downward sloping and thereafter it becomes flatten so this is a iv curve and this will be a profit and loss curve so again this is in 7 to 8 marks sum based on the question it will be either ask for 7 or 8 okay so again a very simple way how to solve the sum based on put option buyers pay off okay i hope everyone has understood this Stay tuned for the next video where we'll be learning about put option, sellers pay off. And if you haven't watched yet the call option problem sum, see that you all watch the video based on that also. Thank you.